What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it is an amazing time to be a fan of mixed martial arts and combat sports in general. Uh, we have the Olympics going on right now. So for today's video, we are talking about the most recent gold medalist, Gable Stevenson, the wrestler Gable Stevenson. He won gold in the Olympics representing the US of A. And I gotta talk about his tweet to Dana White. It shows a little wave sign signifying that he is interested in joining mixed martial arts. He is joining, he, I'm sorry, he is interested in joining the UFC specifically. He could easily join Bellator and fight for that organization. But he tweeted Dana White directly. Uh, there's also a, a possibility that he can go into the WWE. That's a possibility. I don't see that being very likely because uh, how many how many like re like wrestlers do you know as of right now that have like transcendent popularity, right? In, in the past, you see people like The Rock, who is now in movies. You see people like, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know, th that was like the height of pro wrestling of, you know, the WWE, the WWF. Nowadays, you guys got like Roman Reigns and like Ryback. They're, they're not to the same draws as, you know, The Rock or, you know, The Undertaker or any of these guys. So if he wants to compete, and again, he's a competitor. This guy won gold. Look at all of the Olympic wrestlers that have came into mixed martial arts and have dominated. Daniel Cormier, Cormier Henry Cejudo. Um, I believe Yoel Romero is an Olympic wrestler as well. He has came into the sport and dominated. So in all honesty, wrestling is probably going to be one of the most... Um, important aspects of, of mixed martial arts and I say that because again that fighter can dictate where the fight takes place where the fight goes and a striker doesn't always have that capability and a jiu-jitsu person doesn't always have that capability so when you have someone that is a wrestler who has a gold medal that is someone that is going to easily get his way to the top five I believe um, and I think it's I think it's very possible so let's talk about hypothetical scenario best case scenario middle case scenario and worst case scenario for for um, Gable Stevenson I just uh, I almost collided with another car because everybody's driving like a fucking idiot today but anyway so let's talk about it Let's talk worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, okay? He is 6'1", 260 pounds. Now, looking at him, it looks like he has a shorter reach than most of, you know, people in the light heavyweight division or people in the heavyweight division for that matter, right? So, worst case scenario, he starts at light heavyweight. He starts at light heavyweight and... He gets to the top five pretty quickly, but he cannot get past guys like Rakic, um, Yuri Prohaska, and a guy like Jan Blahovic. He can't get past these guys. That's his worst case scenario. But I easily see him getting to the top five in almost every division that he goes into. If he actually takes two years to work on his game, uh, I actually can see him doing that realistically um so that's the worst case scenario at light heavyweight i think he needs to start there at light heavyweight and and work on his game and get to that to that level until he can beat those guys that's the worst case scenario mid case scenario is that he starts and he actually cuts a lot of weight to get himself to middleweight and here's why i say that middleweight is a division that needs wrestlers badly badly and if you want to be anything in the middleweight division 
you need to have wrestling skills. The, the people that have rose to the middleweight division that had wrestling was people like Yoel Romero. He was able to stay in the top five for the longest in that division because just because of how good his wrestling is. But he doesn't use his wrestling. So that's the other thing. So now here's the mid-case scenario. Mid-case scenario is he, rise, he rises in these divisions, whichever one he decides to go with, middleweight, light heavyweight, or heavyweight. Those are all possibilities for him. He rises to the top five or rises to the top 10 easily, but he doesn't, he, he doesn't use his wrestling and he becomes a Yoel Romero. So what I mean by that is Yoel is an Olympic pedigreed wrestler, but Yoel doesn't fight with his wrestling all the time. He barely fights with his wrestling. So the, the mid case scenario is where he gets to these, he gets to this level of, you know, top 10, top five, but now he starts fighting like Yoel Romero, where he doesn't, he starts, you know, focusing on his explosiveness. He starts focusing on his striking a little bit too much, his jujitsu a little bit too much. And now he's gone away from what made, got him to the dance pretty much. That could happen. That's a mid case scenario. Even in that situation, he still gets to the top five, but he stalls out there. The best case scenario for Gable Stevenson is he takes exactly two years, maybe a little bit more, working on striking jiu-jitsu, going to a good camp. Now, there's many good camps that he can go to, many good camps. He can go to AK, uh, AKA, AKA needs people right now. AKA Javier Mendez needs fighters. He needs fighters. Khabib has retired. DC has retired. This is a great prospect for AKA. If he trains at AKA for two years, we can see a reconnaissance not only at that gym, but we could also see someone who can again transcend from Olympic wrestling to MMA. And I think it, it'll be pretty seamless as well. I think if he actually takes the two years, works on his kickboxing, work on, works on his clinch uh, work, works on his jiu-jitsu, we can see a very, very nasty competitor coming into the sport. And might I add, he's only, uh, he's not more than like 22 years old. It's the craziest thing ever. The, the kid is like young. So you, get, you give him that time and he's, he, he starts at the same level that Khabib started at. Where he start, I think Khabib started somewhere around 23, 24 when he got into the UFC. I could be wrong. Someone check me and let me know in the comments. But either way, he can be to the same pedigree. He starts at that same way. And he could actually be the first triple champion that we've ever seen. He can he can cut all that weight. I'm just saying. And I'm this is a best case scenario. Understand that. Best case scenario here. Okay, I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but this is the best case scenario. So it possibly could happen. He cuts the weight, makes 185, gets to the gets to the title in the fastest way possible, and he mauls Israel, Israel Adesanya, which I think he can absolutely maul Israel Adesanya, to be honest with you. If he has the, the striking credentials and the jujitsu, I honestly think that this guy can absolutely maul Israel Adesanya. So that's number one. That's his first belt at middleweight. His second hardest, his, his, his hardest fights are gonna be Rakic, Yuri Prohaska, and Blahovich. So he becomes champ at middleweight, goes for the title at light heavyweight with a really good matchup. And I'm not talking Blahovich, Prohaska, or Rakic. He goes, he goes at maybe like a Glover Teixeira, let's say if he becomes champ or something like that or someone in that division that is not any one of those three people, he could then get that lightweight belt, light heavyweight belt. And then if Francis Ngannou or Cyril Gan is heavyweight champ, he has a massive advantage when it comes to the wrestling. He can take it to the ground, beat him up, drain him, and absolutely grind the shit out of him. DC has been a two weight champion. This guy can do the same. I'm very high on this guy. 
he is no joke. He is young. He is dangerous. He's a gold medal Olympian, and he is fucking serious. So anybody that thinks that this kid cannot become a champion in two weight classes, honestly, I think he can do all three. A lot of people are gonna think I'm crazy, but guess what? People, people can say crazy things, but when crazy things happen, you're no longer fucking crazy. It's just a fucking saying. Anyway, that's my opinion on it. Gable Stevenson, let me know what you guys think about him down in the comments. What do you think he'll do? He'll Do you think he'll join WWE, the UFC? Do you think he'll be a good addition? Do you think he could be champ? Do you think he could be triple champ? Let me know down in the comments. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.